Today, an in-depth look at a grinder that's a perfect marriage of vintage style and modern engineering. Hey, espresso lovers, Mark here from Holatelove.com. So, when I first saw the ECM V Titan 64 grinder, I couldn't help but think of the 1960s vintage wearing blender I inherited from my grandmother. It has some of the same lines, a highly polished finish, and both are built to last. So, better than 50 years after it was built, yeah, I'm still making milkshakes and chopping ice in my grandmother's wearing blender. And I have little doubt that a Titan purchase today could be grinding coffee for your grandkids in 50 years. In fact, if you average two pounds of coffee a month, the burrs on the Titan will not be due for replacement for more than a century. So maybe their grandkids too, but more on how that's possible in a minute. So, the key specs on the V Titan 64. It uses 64 millimeter flat titanium coated burrs. Extremely precise stepless grind size adjustment via a stainless steel worm gear. 450 watt motor. It has two grind time presets or operates manually and the housing is polished chrome over a steel frame. Later in this video, I'll show you just how accurate the Titan is as far as the weight of timed grinding from dose to dose, so stick around for that. Now, I have the Titan sitting next to the ECM Synchronica. For my money, it's one of the best engineered prosumer level dual boiler machines available. Lots of extra touches, both visible and under the hood that make it a standout. The two really make an impressive pair and ECM has put the same attention to detail into the Titan as they did with their Synchronica. Let's start with the burrs. Again, 64 millimeter, but what makes them special is a titanium coating and that's where the Titan name came from for this grinder. According to ECM, their titanium burrs are rated to grind 1200 kilograms. That's a little over 2,600 pounds of coffee before they will need replacement. And that's two to three times the lifespan of regular stainless steel burrs. So say you grind two pounds a month, yeah, you won't be replacing burrs for about 110 years. Grind timing and other functions are controlled using a silver finish display, which matches the display on ECM's flagship Synchronica machine. There are two timed grinding presets adjustable in tenth of a second intervals. Grinding is started by bumping a switch with a portafilter. A single push grinds for the time set in T1, bump twice to grind to the time set in T2. Now, you can still grind manually when in automatic mode by pushing and holding in the start switch and grinding stops when the switch is released. And if you prefer grinding manually all the time, you can set the grinder to manual mode and it runs whenever the portafilter switch is pushed in. When not grinding, the display shows moving bar segments, but if you prefer a cleaner look, you can turn off the display to show just one dot, yet retain all the automatic functions. When the dot is on the left, it indicates automatic time grinding, and to the right, indicates the grinder is in manual mode. The stainless steel worm gear allows for incredibly precise grind size adjustment. It gives you fine and repeatable control that's more accurate than grinders with turning collar adjustments. And because the worm gear can turn the collar, but the collar cannot turn the gear, your grind setting is always locked into place until you make a change. Now, one thing I always look for in a grinder is how well the grinding chamber is sealed from the threads of the adjustment collar. A poor seal allows coffee to gum up the threads, making adjustment difficult with some grinders. On the Titan, there's an O-ring which seals the grinding chamber so coffee stays out of the threads. Inside the grinding chamber, a propeller of sorts helps assure a consistent flow of beans to the burrs. That consistent flow results in consistent dosed weights when doing timed grinding. To check accuracy cycle to cycle, I ground five times at two and a half seconds and five times at four seconds and weighed the results. As you can see, the two and a half second cycle averaged a little over 11 grams with a maximum variation of 5.5%. The average for the four second cycle was a hair over 18 grams with a maximum dose variation of less than 3%. In my experience, the Titan matches or is slightly better in dose accuracy than other grinders in this price range like the Chiato E37S. A funnel feeds ground coffee to the portafilter 
With the funnel, grinds come out fluffy and distribute evenly. Good distribution helps prevent channeling when brewing. With the funnel setup, there's really very little spill, if any, beyond the portafilter. Any coffee that gets by lands in a large stainless steel tray for easy cleanup. Now, we worked with ECM to get a shorter hopper for the Titan, which results in a total height of 17 and 3 quarters inches. So it will fit under 18 inch overhanging cabinets. The hopper has an O-ring on the throat and a shutoff. Some other useful touches on the Titan, an adjustable holder to accommodate single, double, and bottomless portafilters. Removable portafilter supports. All exposed hardware are Allen heads, which are durable and prevent tool slippage. If you look close here, you can see cooling fins around the grinding chamber, which dissipate heat, keeping grounds cooler in heavy use situations. So overall, the ECM V Titan 64 is a beauty that is very well put together. Worm gear grind size adjustment is as precise as I've seen. Time dosing is very accurate with less than 3% variation in weight when grinding in the 18 gram range. Those titanium burrs, yeah, they're gonna stay sharp for a very long time. I love the vintage look and the extra quality and design touches. It's a grinder built to serve for a lifetime or two of home use, a real standout and in my opinion, one of the finest 64 millimeter prosumer level grinders available. That's the ECM V Titan 64. It's available now at wholelottheylove.com. Have questions on this grinder or anything coffee? Use those comments and I'll get you the answers. I'm Mark. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe and come back soon for more of the good stuff on everything coffee brought to you by wholelottelove.com. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelattelove.com.